Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson 3 of the unit today, talking about negative exponents. You have the booklet and we can all see the questions. Um, you can all see that there are negative exponents on your page. What to do? I'll show you. Alright, let's go. The first one we have is 3 to the power of negative 2. And this is part of why I like to show the brackets. Just really helps to make everything very clear about what we're trying to do. Uh, so when we have a negative exponent, um, we really can't work with it. What we need to do is actually get rid of the negative exponent. And what we can do is we can um, what we call take what we call as a reciprocal. So a reciprocal is when we flip the fraction. So a reciprocal, this is kind of like a definition. A reciprocal is when we flip the fraction. It's kind of like what we did, it is exactly like what we did when we were dividing fractions by fractions. We took the reciprocal of the bottom and we multiplied it by the uh, original fraction. We flipped it over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the reciprocal and it's a very specific way that we do this. We take the entire thing and we put it on the bottom. So this is one over three, and then we get to make the exponent positive, three to the power of two. And this is something that we can work with because we know what the uh, three squared is, three times three is nine. So we can go one over nine, and there we go, we have our answer. One over nine, that's the fraction is our answer, one ninth. So when you have the exponent is negative, you uh, take uh, the exponent and whatever it is the exponent of the base and the power go to the bottom go in the denominator of the fraction and then you can make the exponent positive let's do uh, I guess one to the right here so this is one ugh, sorry six to the power of negative three so that ends up being one over six to the power of three and our last lesson. Uh, I'm going to look back. Did we do it in our last lesson? We did. In our last lesson, we did 6 to the power of 3. Um, so I didn't see what the answer was. I'm going to try to remember. 6 times 6 is 36, and it's going to be uh, 236. Let's see. 216. Man, I need to remember these. Okay, because 6 times 6 is 36 multiplied by 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Yes, 216. Just wanted to confirm again for myself. So that makes this answer 1 over 216. We're working with large numbers, and sometimes we got to double check our math. Uh, and just you know work through the problems on our own sorry about that there's our answer for 6 to the power of negative 3 we take the reciprocal next one 4 to the power of negative 4 so that is 1 over 4 to the power of 4 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64 times 4 again is 256 so that's 1 over 256. Again, you can go ahead and write these out in terms of multiplying. Definitely encourage it to show your work, uh, but you'll be definitely become more familiar with these. Let's do the next one, 6 to the power of negative 1. So that is 1 over 6 to the power of 1, but 6 to the power of 1 is just 6. Right? You don't multiply it by anything or by itself. So this is 1 6. Go ahead and give the next few a try, and then you can see if you got the right answer. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on here. We have 6 to the power of negative 2. So I'm going to flip over the whole thing. 1 over 6 squared. And 6 times 6 is 36. So this is 1 out of 36. Going to the right to 5 to the power of negative 4. 5 to the power of negative 4, so that's 1 over 
5 to the power of 4. And that's multiplying 5 by itself four times. Uh, so that's 25 times 25, or I know that 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Um, familiar with these numbers, this is 1 out of 625. 125 times 5, I like to do in my head kind of as like 100 times 5 is 500, and 25 times 5 is 125, and adding those together gets you 625. Two more to do. Uh, ooh, these next two, it looks like, are thrown in here just to throw us off. So we've got 7 to the power of regular 2, not negative 2. So that means that it's 7 times 7, which is 49. And it looks like we got the next one is 2 to the power of 3. These aren't negatives, but that's okay. We can evaluate them as well. 2 times 2 times 2. So that's 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. You guys have questions about negative exponents, flipping them over, what a reciprocal is, let me know, ask somebody else in the class. But thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon.